Hello and welcome to the AFL Riverina Football and Netball Show. I'm your host, Hannah Maguire. Well, we have an exciting grand final to talk about later in the show. We have some Farrah League coaches to come in to give us their expert tips. That's coming up not too far away. But first, we're going to chat to Farrah League Netball coach Kate Garrett from CSU. Now, Kate, you're playing in the grand final this weekend for A grade against Tamora. How do you think you're going to go? Uh, well, we've had a turbulent season up until um, sort of the end of the last rounds, um, but we're feeling quietly confident leading into the grand final this week. Um, we had a bit of an upset against Mora two weeks ago in the first semi, so we're feeling confident going into the game on Saturday. Yeah, before your win against Tamora two weeks ago, you uh, Tamora had not um, been beaten all year. Does that sort of scare you a bit? Uh, no, not at all. We, you know, we had... Um, you know, some trouble during the year with injury and players away. And so we had sort of a interrupted season. Um, but having that win a couple of weeks ago over tomorrow has just lifted our confidence. Um, now tell us, where will the game be won? Like, where do you think you, you know, dominate over tomorrow? I think in the two um, goal circles, it'll be one. Um, our defence are really strong and their, their shooting um, is um, quite strong as well. They've got a really tall... Um, attacking in. So I think in the goal circles is where, where most of the game will happen. Okay. Now, who are the key players that you're going to be watching for tomorrow and, and who do you think can, can tackle their key players? Uh, probably our biggest threat is Geordie Barrett. She's the goal shooter for Tamora. Um, she's tall and if she's on fire and they're feeding her well, then um, you know we'll, she'll take a lot to, to handle on the day. Um, and um, also their centre court are, you know, quite fast and speedy and we'll, we'll need to be on our A game to keep up with them. Okay. Um, and um, the key matchup, so who, who, who are you going to put on, Jory Barrett? Uh, Kristen McKenzie, who is a star down in our defence lineup, um, and also uh, Simone Coote is our goal defence. So they'll be two very important players in our lineup on the weekend. Okay. Now you, you're also nursing a bit of a knee injury as well, I hear. How's that going, coming along? Uh, well, I'm just about to book in for my knee reconstruction as well. Um, so uh, that'll be happening. So hopefully I'll be back towards the end of next year, but I'm also having a baby. So um, that's happening as well. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We'll touch on the other um, grand final games as well. We've got B Grey, we have Tamora in there as well. Now Tamora, they're in all three grand finals for netball. Um, this, in B Grey, they take on Mara. How, how's this game gonna go, do you think? Uh, well, Mara had a really tight game against our B grade um, in the final on the weekend. Uh, they won by a point in extra time. So um, I think Tamora will have the edge. They're sort of, you know, a bit of a class above. And um, I think they'll, they'll win. Um, but I think Mara will push them. Um, they're definitely competitive and finals, anything can happen. Yeah, and you've got um, CSU, your team in the C grade final. Can they beat Tamora? Uh, I think so. Um, our C graders have been undefeated all year, so it would be a shame to see them go down um, on the biggest day of the season. Uh, but once again, they're quietly confident and, um, you know, they're not going into the game um, expecting to win. It'll be a tough game, um, but I think they'll, they'll get the goods in the end. Okay, thanks Kate. Thanks for joining us. That was Kate Garrett there from the CSU Bush South. It's now time to talk about the most exciting game of the season, that is the grand final where Tamora will take on The Rock. Joining us in the studio now is Nathan Dowdle from North Wagga and we also have Chris Jackson from East Wagga joining us as well as Jason McPherson from AFL New South Wales. Now fellas, it's going to be an exciting match and it's sort of it's a replay of last year's grand final as well. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, well, I think uh, Tamora's going to win it. Um, you know, they've been pretty spot on the last couple of years. Mark Kruger's done a pretty good job with that football club and, um, you know, they play a very nice brand of football. What about you, Chris? Oh, definitely Tamora. They've um, hit their straps in the last three or four weeks. They've had a bit down period there, about a month out of the finals, but now they're coming really, they're, oh, they're becoming really good now with Jake Barrett coming back into the side. I think they're going to be more than a handful. Yeah. I why do you say that, boys? I just think the Rock have got some older bodies, a bit more experience. Do you think, are they any chance, the Rock, you reckon? Not really, no. Well, the older bodies are going to going to be the big sticking point because obviously they've played that extra game of football. Yeah. And and obviously with tomorrow being well drilled, they're going to be coming out pretty hard. So. Yeah. Yeah, Jace, I reckon, um, you know, the, 
the, the Rock had a physical um, match against the Jets last week. Um, as Jacko said, the physical, the physical toll on them older bodies is going to slow them down a bit. I really believe the Tamora rebound of the football, once you turn it down, turn the ball over, you've got to be first to react and you know chase them down, and it's very hard to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at it, um, finals football obviously is different. It's a new kettle of, new, new game. It's, it's sort of looking at um, targets up forward, and I can see that's probably where the rock strength is in you know having the leading goal kicker in the competition. So I just, do um, you think the uh, game will be won in, in, the, in the middle? Oh, definitely. Well, that's, um, that's the rock strength. Peeper, Hugo, yeah. uh, running through the middle. But then again, you've got the likes of Tamora as well with their Tim McCauley, um, Kruger running through there and, and Block running off the half-back flank. So they've got the run as well and the targets up forward in, um, in, in Blackwall. So, you know, either end it works itself out. Kruger's report, a distraction, you think? Week off, distraction, positive, negative? Oh, definitely, um, definitely a negative. Um, something you just don't want to have... Um, part of the football club, but you know, he's a pretty professional um, bloke, the way he goes about his business. So whether, you know, they go out with the right mindset, um, you know, not being too cocky, um, you know, they should be, you know, be able to run away with the game, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. and it's a latest start at 2.45 at Mar Oval on Saturday. Um, crowd, obviously tomorrow, I think, Hannah got all grades. All grades in, in footy football and, and netball. netball. Huge effort, and obviously Kruger's done a wonderful job and the committee out there at tomorrow because it wasn't that long ago when they were really struggling on and off the mm. field. So their facility development and, and congratulations to them. But yeah, look, I wouldn't be writing the rock off just yet. I think they're, um, they've been around, they've got some old heads and finals football. Um, I'm going to go with Tamora in saying that um, because I just think uh, I think the, the likes of Jake Barrett, the speed outside players, will 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 be coming home in the last quarter. And um, yeah, I think Tamora by two goals. There you have it. And Tamora also they play in the uh, second grade grand final. Now Nathan, they play against North Wagga, so you know a lot about your boys' side. Do you think they have the goods to beat Tamora? Yeah, um, definitely I do believe. Um, probably last week the win against the Rock. Um, was really good. It was a four-quarter effort by the boys, which they've been struggling to put together. But you know, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your straps. And um, you know, the boys have played all the final series, so they haven't had a week off, which I, I believe in second grade football they need to do. Um, so you know, they're going to have the fitness. I think they'll be able to match it with them. Whether they can be disciplined um, when things don't go their way, they can react quick enough. And um, you know, I think it'll be a real hard, tough hit out for them. But you know, I believe the boys can do it. Yeah, Chris, have you had uh, much kept much of an eye on the second grade uh, this year? Not as much as the first grade, but the both sides are very similar. I've watched both tomorrow and North Wagga both quick, so it's going to be one of the better games of reserve football. So yeah, it'd be exciting. Okay, and we'll quickly touch on under 17s. Um, that's tomorrow versus Turvey Park. Tomorrow again. Um, have any of you guys been, seen any um, 17s games this year? Yeah, I've, I've looked uh, obviously with the one competition with the AFL Riverine under 17s and tomorrow it's a great news story competing against RFL clubs and they've been a, a welcome addition to the uh, under 17s because it has been painful for some clubs the under 17s with with uh, with the n lack of numbers at some clubs and, and the overwhelming numbers at others. So tomorrow have been uh, a, a good news story and I think they're. Um, what will hurt them is the players coming back from Turvey Park that have played a lot of senior football. Mm -hmm. um, but in saying that, they've, uh, they're a very skillful bunch. The only thing that, another negative, maybe there's a few boys that play AFL and rugby league and I'm not quite sure where the Group 9, um, the under 18 competition is, whether the mm -hmm. Tamora um, club have to play rugby league now, whether the boys decide to play in an AFL grand final or play in a final for Group 9, um, that, that will be a factor as well. Yeah. What do you think it is about Tamora being so good this year? I mean, and, and most of the players that they have are local boys. Oh, well, they've always had a strong junior. And three or four years ago when obviously they had Rambo coaching and they had a good junior base and had some good players out there but never had structure. And obviously Mark coming along changed the whole mindset of the, the football club. They trained harder, they were smarter, and those juniors learnt. And the blokes like Tim McCauley who were good players but were, were, were raw, and now really good players that know the game. So there's just that continuation of football. They're, they're a lot smarter now and I think it's gone through the whole whole three grades. Yeah, I think it's on-field and off-field mm. leadership, not just with the seniors but the juniors. And I think also what's helped a hell of a lot is the Luke Bruce of the world with the pathways mm. playing some great football at Hawthorne. 
uh, the Jake Barretts, the Jack Irvines, the Jacob Turners, all these boys that are coming mm. through the talent system are, are very good chances because, one, they're working hard and they're in a very good environment um, to, to develop their footy. So, mm. yeah, all hats off to uh, tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. We'll touch on the RFL finals now. Now, in um, both first grade and second grade, we have Gam Main versus Colin Gully. Um, we'll talk about first grade first. Um, who do you think is going to win this one, Nathan? Uh, it's going to be really tough. Um, game, I think. I went and watched uh, Gamain and Gully the previous week, and um, Gully actually um, pumped a fair few goals. I think they won by about 80 points, is that right? But um, yeah, they looked a little bit um, slow and sore from the physical match against um, the following week, Coolerman. Um, watched them again um, on Sunday, and Gamain looked like a completely different side. And saying that, Gully have missed their chances against Coolerman. Um, so they could have been in that grand final, whether they bounce back and respond, but um, I'm probably going to tip Gully. Okay. Chris? I was speaking to Jaden earlier after the Colin Gully game, and, and they, they knew that they yeah. played poorly and, and they weren't going to do it again, and they beat Tigers quite easily yeah. um, over in them in the last quarter. So I, I, I'm going to go get main there. And, yeah. you know, Jason's in a tough spot there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I got bad because I tipped uh, Tigers to beat them mm. uh, on the weekend. So, um, But in saying that, they uh, they played well. They got their rotations right. Uh, they got a lot of improvement. It wasn't until the third quarter they broke broke the shackles of Wagga Tigers um, and got on top. Gully didn't take their chances, 6-16. I think I think Gamain will win because they've had four, four or five players, and if you look, the guy in Mitchell still kicked four goals on the weekend. He's had two games, three games under his under his belt now. Hitchens is another one. Uh, so these players that haven't had a lot of game time and minutes on the field have over the finals, and I think that will be a huge factor coming into the last quarter uh, Sunday at Robertson Oval. Okay, and we'll just quickly touch on second grade at same same teams again. Yeah, well. I don't know much about the game in second grade. Um, I do do a bit about Con Gully. Um, they they had a very bad last quarter um, against Mangapai, which are in the grand final. I'm pretty sure they kicked 70 points um, against Turvey in the last quarter. So whether um, sorry Con Gully, whether Con Gully ran out of fitness that game, I'm not too sure. But it's a big ground Naranda and same as Robbo. Um, just going off what I know, I'm probably going to tip Gully again in the twos. Yeah, I'll go the same. They've got some good depth there. Yeah. Definitely. Billy Lucas has done a wonderful job with Gamain Reserve Grade. They just scraped into the finals. First, uh, haven't won a final for nine years, um, and they've won the last two. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to tip the Gamain boys. The, just due to the fact that they're first grade and reserve grade, playing on the same weekend, so they've got the ability to drop players up and back. Mm. Um, and, you know, when, when you've got that ability, it helps in your depth, and I'll, I'll tip gear main because I don't want to get run out of town. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, there you have it. All the expert tips for this weekend's grand final and finals for the RFL. That's all we have time for today, so make sure you go and head out there on the ground on the weekend and support your favourite team. Until next time, we'll catch you at aflriverina.com.au. We'll see you then.